Hi, welcome to Chemistry 3006. We're talking about Pourbaix diagrams and it may seem a little bit strange that you can change the pH and the voltage. Oi, you can change pH, but how can you change the potential? Well, you just change the number of electrons in solutions. That's a bit strange, but look, electrons are just negatively charged protons, so why not? Uh, the electrons are in the solution. You can introduce them by an electrode or by a, an oxidizing or reducing agent. You can add them or remove them. Just like we can add uh, hydrogen ions uh, into solution by adding strong bases and strong acids. Now, everyone knows that when you have a H plus in solution, it's not really H plus. It, it's H3O plus or H plus dissolved. It, it's a species uh, which is involving a lot of water molecules and likewise a dissolved electron electrons are just negatively charged protons may be in solution or they may be attached to other molecules the point is that the electrons on molecules or in the water wherever they are we don't care can undertake electrochemical behavior so yes you can change the pH and you can change the potential by adding oxidizing and reducing agents so in reality, pH and E of a system are not controlled. You don't really control pH. What you do is you add strong acids or bases to, add the, to change this pH. When you say pH 12 or 16, it doesn't mean to say you dial up that pH. You're actually adding in sodium hydroxide, so you're getting in extra sodium ions. You can't just change the pH by magic. Likewise, you can change this uh, voltage here by, well, in this case, you can change it a little bit by using electrodes, but you can also change it without magic by adding strong oxidizing agents and reducing agents. I hope that makes that clear. See ya.